all what we are doing here is calculating the upthrust of the fluids on the body or the body experiencing an upthrust force due to the presence of such liquids which is equal to the sum of the weights of the liquids displaced by the body present or submerged in such layers of liquids. Let us solve another problem related to Archimedes principle. Say we have a container which contains liquid of say rho L. We have a small point mass at some height. Let's say that height being small h. We state that this point mass is dropped from this height onto this liquid and it reaches a maximum depth of d. What we need to find is rho L. Say the density of this body is rho. Now, Proceeding ahead a bit systematically, first we need to determine what is the velocity of this body at the surface of the liquid. For this, we basically use energy con conservation and the velocity here will be nothing but, let's say that is V interface, is going to be root times root 2, time, 2 times g into the small height h. This can be obtained using energy conservation which is nothing but half mv interface square getting equal to mgh. This will give us this quantity. Now when the body hits the surface it is going to experience some retardation. The retardation will be due to the upthrust of this liquid on this body. We should consider this to be uh, an important uh, way to state that we should not be saying this, this is a body. This is rather a point mass. A body will be inviting more complex calculations and assumptions if we consider that this is going to go down this fluid, a body has a finite surface which will also include a lot of different aspects of forces and rotation which we are not considering. Hence, we assume that this is a point mass which has no surfaces. The acceleration or the retardation it faces after hitting the fluid will be in the upward direction which is basically the upthrust. Initially in our discussion we found that the acceleration is going to be rho s minus rho l divided by rho s times g. Sorry this will be l. is s. This comes from the fact that the mass times acceleration is going to balance out the upthrust. For this body to reach a maximum depth and then stopping, we would need that the upthrust or upthrust overrules the weight of this body we will be requiring that. So this quantity is actually going to turn out to be negative and g is in the downward direction. So a is going to be in the upward direction.
we have the acceleration we have the velocity at interface now all we need to do is apply a simple kinematic equation to get what is the depth d because we say that it reaches a maximum depth d we are already considering that this body will come to a halt at this depth so the final velocity will be zero at this point so writing the kinematic equation say this is u initial velocity and final velocity v is zero we have v square is equal to u square plus two times a into x x is basically the distance traveled or the displacement of the body because we have a point mass here we are not considering a body here we have this going to zero this getting equal to the square of this this is 2 times g into h plus 2 into the acceleration let's say the downward direction was positive the upward direction will be negative thus is equal to this note that we considered that the density of this point mass is rho so rho s turns out to be rho divided by rho times g this into the d this equation will now give us the maximum depth d gone down by the body or the point mass so this is now equal to the 2 gets cancelled off because of the 0 we have g times h is equal to rho l minus rho by rho into g into d g also gets cancelled off now what we are left with is h is equal to rho l minus rho by rho into d our objective is to find what rho l is so from this equation we have rho l equal to rho times small h plus small d divided by small d this is the definition of this fluid which is present here of density rho l note that this density will ensure that this point mass reaches a maximum depth of d it can also be stated in the reverse way what i mean to say is the problem can also be stated in the reverse way you will be given this rho l and you will be find out the maximum depth the body travels down the liquid here I would like to state something else also. 